A Segment from the Demonic Virtue by Niall Piper Chapter 21 Man From afar, this planet looked like a giant blue marble, encased in swirling white streaks of paint. It rotated slowly beneath the white streaks. Following its rotation, large greenish-brown landmasses chased one another. The blue marble spun ferociously in circles as it orbited the massive star to the solar system's center. Other planets, separated by their own orbits, raced with the blue sphere on a common set of invisible tracks. A string of rocks formed the only solid line between these orbits. On the other side of the string was a planet that might eat every other revolving rock in its path, but the blue marble floated safely away from this giant, as well as a safe distance away from the ball of flames that balanced the orbits. Bursting forth like a caged animal with no control of itself, the star was violent enough to tear the blue skin from the two planets neighboring it. And from no nowhere, thousands of small rocks shot like bullets past the assortment of planets. Some colliding with these rocks and others missing impact only to disappear once more to another darkened corner of this strange space. A few of these rocks, which perhaps had longed to chase the nothingness as well, were nevertheless bound to the orbit of this blue marble, where they had formed their own sphere. This little lonesome ball even collected many of its own wild bullets. Holding on, though, through countless trips around the blue ball that rode around the giant yellow star, the small rock remained strong and loyal to the marble. Forward from the marbles, past the giant planet, and a string of rocks were large plants of ice, gas, and rock. Deep into space, the systematic athletic orbiters were but yet a small competition in the laps around a black hole that had once graced a fallen angel with its presence. Like a floating ring of glowing liquid, that all-encompassing black portal spun this ring slowly around, around, and around, twinkling, twirling, like a marathon of pixie ballerinas, a symphony of vibration studied its pace. From this phenomenon, outside the sparkling dancers, were further similar swirling objects. The pattern continued with no end. Ring of light, made of ring of light, made of star, of star, upon star, upon planet, upon star, like some endless galactic joke that ended only in something more massive and cylindrical that also answered to the orbit of yet a greater power that be. Yet there, in these steady orbits, between seemingly connected galaxies, in that one illuminated milky ring, racing between these rocks, revolving around a giant exploding fire, resting on that blue marble, under those white streaks, located on one of those greenish-brown chunks of land, resting at the foot of a mountain, within a cave, was a discouraged angel shedding a tear onto the bones of a lost friend.